Greetings, survivors and friends. Shadow Franks here, bringing you not necessarily the news you deserve, but certainly the news you need to know right now. And I know you've been wanting to hear me talk about the new monument that's currently live for testing on the Orcs 02 branch, the nuclear missile silo, and it would seem that this monument, which looks like it'll be arriving in the next patch in May, will have all sorts of ramifications for the law, and might possibly be more than just a giant loot container. I didn't get round to covering it last week in video form because I was busy sorting out some pie supplies for the royal family, but to be honest, it's a lot more fleshed out now and doesn't crash quite as much. Just remember, it is all still subject to change. So nothing I say here is absolute. I've also got some other news to share, but first, this here monument, which just like the proverbial iceberg lettuce exists predominantly underground, having six subterranean levels labelled from zero to minus five, is centred around an actual nuke which may or may not be functional, and may or may not have a function in the game, to be confirmed, but it probably will. More on that shortly. When you spot it on the map, it doesn't look like much from above. A group of porter cabins, hangars, guard towers, which can be climbed, and a tall communications mask, also climbable, clustered around an ominous hatch. There's an exit round the side too, but you can't get in that way because it's an exit. To gain entrance, you could try knocking on the hatch, but it won't do you any good. Instead, you'll need to enter this porter cabin and press the handy red well-lit button, which will open the hatch for about 30 seconds before it seals itself over you again. From here, it's a pretty linear trip as you work your way down the levels. There are a couple of jumps, but nothing difficult. There are a few rooms along the way, various storerooms, control rooms, and toilets. I think you're lost, sir. And then you'll have to take a lift down to level minus two before carrying on. From here, you can work your way down either through a bunch of offices and stairwells, with many more rooms off to the side, including living quarters and computer rooms, or take another lift directly to the bottom of the facility where you'll find another exposed warhead that everyone will probably try to hit with their rock as soon as they see it. From here, you can then work your way back up more stairs and a lift to the side entrance, which is a blue keycard door and is rigged up to a puzzle which doesn't actually function at the moment, although it did a couple of days ago. In fact, at the moment, this monument's very incomplete. There are no working puzzles, loot spawns, keycards, radiation, or indeed NPCs as of writing this. Talking of which, though, it looks like a new species of scientist will be inhabiting this monument, wearing a new NVGM suit. Does this mean that there'll be times when this monument goes dark? Or is this just a cosmetic variation? Will they appear anywhere else? What exactly will you stand to gain from coming here? And what will that nuke do, if anything? It would seem that yes, indeed, there will be some kind of event tied to it. And by the looks of things, it's not likely to have anything to do with gardening, for instance. Computer screens throughout are displaying mention of a countdown, and the team are dropping subtle hints, such as this code on Twitter, which was deciphered by Mimeo in about three seconds with ChatGPT. He's a clever boy. Cobalt 60 Warhead Armed Countdown Initiated. Looks like someone's been watching my backstory. And the new one I'm writing needs a bit more added to its script now, it seems. That and the fact that the phone near the exit says it's a reset facility is definitely leading me down a certain path, which I'm sure I don't need to elaborate too much on. Cough! Server wipe. However, I'd love you to say what you think it'll be about in its final form in the comments, and I'll try to read all your thoughts if I can. Will this have anything to do with the Nexus system? Will players be able to interact with the controls in any way? How much more will I have to alter the backstory? A lot of work's gone into this monument, so it's not just a standard thing to fill space and prevent you from building yet another area, if you ask me. I will say one thing, though. Hopefully this will put an end to people asking when is whip. I'd love to say more, but I think I'll have to wait a bit, and we should all know a lot more by the end of the month, so stay tuned. In other news, a quick summary. There's a fix coming to make sure team leaders' map markers don't disappear when they die or go offline. The range Rust Plus cameras can see players from is being reduced, and you'll only be able to see the names of players through Rust Plus when they're close enough to the cam. There's going to be a menu option to toggle the visibility of nicknames for your friends, and an option to change radial menus from hold to toggle so they work with trackpads. A rewrite to ragdolls is being worked on, now we need some ragdoll key, plus a refresh to the quarry model, and it looks like recyclers will be getting animations too. Not only, but also building skins. Remember them? 
They're still being worked on, and as well as Brick and Adobe, it looks like a Brutalist version's in the works. Love a bit of brutalism, me. And lastly, talking of skins, a bit of controversy has erupted as the decision's been made to remove the option for players to disable workshop skins. So, if someone wants to use a particular skin or skins, then you'll have to see it, slash them. All that's been said about this so far is that skins are part of the default gameplay experience and they need to ensure the playing field's as fair as possible and players do not gain an advantage by disabling them. This thing does work both ways, of course. Uh, maybe we'll get more said about it in the next dev blog, but that's about it in a nutshell. Do you view this as controversial, though? Does it upset or even delight you? Please feel free to discuss it down below and let's get a conversation going. That's you up to date and I'd love a like and a sub from you if you enjoyed this episode. I'd also like to thank all my supporters who keep me wanting to make this content. Much love to you all and please also join me on Twitch and my socials to keep up to date with whatever I do. You'll find all the links below. I shall catch you all soon, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. I think you're lost, sir.